Well, we're in the midst of a La Nina winter here, and what La Nina essentially means is for us here in the Pacific Northwest, we're going to be in the midst of a colder and wetter winter, and it's already starting to feel like we're getting close to winter here as we're only a few weeks away here. 23 degrees in the Tri-Cities. We're in the Yakima Airport right now, sitting at 42 degrees. Now, your weather headlines for today, there's an air stagnation advisory in effect from today through this weekend. All that means is that the surface air down near the surface down in the lower elevation areas. Well, that air quality isn't going to be exactly the greatest as the air really isn't moving. It's remaining very still. So if you suffer from allergies, well, this may not exactly be the best weekend for you. And if you heat your house with a wood burning stove, just be aware that that particulate matter isn't really going to to move out of the area as quickly as you'd like it to. So just be aware over the weekend of those facts. Now your current temperatures throughout the region got they're all over the place. Got some 20s, 40s, upper 30s. It's just a grab bag of temperatures. Take your pick this morning. Our current wind speeds out there. Well, five mile per hour winds in the Tri Cities, eight in Yakima, 18 up there near Ellensburg. And look at what it does to your temperature out there. Well, 23 degrees in the Tri Cities feels like 17 degrees this morning. We're in Othello feels like 15 degrees. So as you're heading out this morning, don't forget a hat, gloves, whatever you need to stay warm. Crank the heat in the car, whatever you need. It's going to be chilly out there this morning. Now your satellite radar here. Well, nothing showing absolutely nothing. We got some Clouds over to the west here near the Cascade Mountains and some some precipitation, but it's barely anything. It's not even going to accumulate up on the mountains today as it's still just moving and moving right on through the area. Now our Pacific Northwest radar, you can see this nice little bubble that we enjoy here in southeastern Washington that keeps all the clouds and moisture right out of our area as you can see over near Seattle even this morning really not even dealing with that much moisture either as it's butting up right against the cascades and seemingly dissipating as the system that's moving in here uh, out in the Pacific continues to roll closer and closer to the British Columbia coastline it's really not even going to bring us that many clouds and if it does bring us some clouds they'll be overnight you'll barely even see them and if you do see some during the day they'll be moving right on through the area rather quickly and here are our high temperatures for today and they're all over the place got them in the mid to high or mid to high 30s some low low 40s and then over in the Yakima Valley, the mid to low 30s. Now here's my bus stop forecast for today and when the first buses roll around in about an hour and a half, it should be about 27 degrees on average throughout the region and be aware that, that poor air quality out there. If uh, any of your kids have allergies, just make sure to treat them accordingly. Now for the next six days in Yakima, clear skies, great weather for the food drive tomorrow up in Yakima as those overnight lows though dipping down into the teens. Now for the Tri-Cities, pretty much the same there as well. We're for the food drive tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 30s. So if you're heading out to KNDU or KNDO, just make sure to dress accordingly. Bring a jacket.